I think choir is important in the aspect that it kind of teaches you how to bond with people and how to work along with others and that's like super important once you get into the real world like you don't get that in like uh, an English class or math class. It is a skill and a uh, course that doesn't ever go out of style. Um, one of the things that makes music special in schools is that it's something that speaks to the soul, it speaks to the heart and it's something that people can actually enjoy doing. and. Math is great, English is great, you need all those things. What jobs are nowadays is thinking about intellectual creativity and creating a job for yourself that's outside the box, that's not the norm. That's what the arts in school does for you. It gives you the opportunity to experience how to think and how to approach a problem differently and more creatively than you do with 2 plus 2 equals 4 or anything like that. To people that don't find music important, I was like, I was like, that's kind of crazy to me because like, every day, you know, when you walk in school or something, you see people with their headphones in listening to music, not just because they want to listen to it because like, it sounds really good and it makes them feel happy or makes them, however they feel, that's the kind of music that's. That is like one of the hardest things to do is to get other guys to be like, hey, singing in choir is not a girly thing. like. You have to have a big, strong voice, and you have, a lot of times, we don't have enough basses. Like, I'm not technically a bass, and I end up singing bass because I'm the only one that can hit the notes because we don't have enough guys. Um, and you hear people singing in the hallway all the time, and if they are looking to get a better voice, if they're looking to learn things, choir and singing classical music is applicable to any style, and that's something I've learned through taking voice lessons. Like when I'm in choir, like I'm about business, like because this is what I want to do when I get older. So I don't like to joke around and stuff like that. And then as a choir as a whole, like you'll see me like in the back trying to listen, and then like the kids are like laughing around, even though they're like seniors and I'm a sophomore. Like I take things a lot seriously than people actually think I do. I feel like choir for me really helped me with kind of like opening up and like not being so like I used to keep to myself a lot like throughout you know like junior high and like my freshman year, but then like. I kind of integrated myself into choir and that made it a lot easier to like talk to people to you know like get involved in like other activities like theater and that kind of stuff and I feel like it just like opened so many pathways that you know like I would have never had if I hadn't taken the choir. to sing a lot deeper like last year I sounded like a little kid like I was like tenor one that's all I could sing now I could sing tenor one tenor two bass baritone some alto some soprano like yeah they spread me out well with choir I've learned like really good time management because you know I involve myself in concert choir and Hoffman singers and then I help out you know the younger guys choir and then I also do madrigals and you know shades of blue which is the jazz group and I did Vox, like the acapella group, and I just learned to be able to balance all of that. There was a point where I didn't feel like I was like in my choir, like you, we have the saying, like, uh, this is my choir, but I, at some point I didn't feel like that. I want to make sure that the following students after me do feel like they're welcome, so I uh, I campaigned to be the choir president, and I made, and I want to make sure that everyone's integrated. We actually had to go out and try to get more people to join choir because our choir teacher wouldn't have ended up being full time if we hadn't. So he wouldn't have been here for us if we needed rehearsal time or if we wanted to work with him one on one with stuff. He wouldn't have been able to be here because the school wouldn't have been willing to have him in school because there wouldn't have been enough kids in choir to facilitate that. Choir has always been more about measuring your progress and your growth throughout the entire year. And if you can do the skills on the last day of class, that's an A. That's what we're going for. So that's been a tough challenge to get other people to understand. I guess for choir, personally, the biggest challenge we've addressed is just that other courses and other ideas have taken precedence. Music is the one thing that'll set students apart. Um, knowing all of the mathematical formulas, knowing about engineering, knowing all of that doesn't help you design a building that nobody else has built before.
And that's what the arts and that's what music can do. So that challenge, recruiting kids in here, getting them in the door, letting them know that this is something that's worthwhile for their future, not to mention fun right now, <laughs> but also worthwhile for the future. That's been a real huge challenge, communicating that to other people. I hope to be able to, to prove that music is so much more than just songs and notes. It needs to be enjoyable. It needs to feed your soul. It needs to make you a happier, more well-rounded person. If it does that, then it's important. And too many people are telling folks nowadays, telling students nowadays, that that's something that's not important. If it's fun, it's worthwhile. We can talk about all the other benefits that come with it. You know, all the social emotional learning, all of the leadership opportunities, all of the um, learning how to approach problems from a different direction. Those are all important, those are all good, but those are all secondary reasons to do it. In my opinion, the real reason to do choir is because it's fun.